Well, thanks for being here today. Um, I was just going to ask you a few questions about your career and why you chose to go into it. Uh, I'm just doing this to get a better handle on my interview style. And if you don't want to answer any of the questions, you can just tell me and we'll just get to the next one. And this interview should take around 8 to 10 minutes. And it's not going to be confidential. It's obviously going to be videotaped. And it's going to be put on YouTube for my professor and my peer reviewer to see. So, are you okay with all that? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Um, so, okay, go ahead and just tell me a little bit about yourself. Uh, well, my name is Haley Brewster. I'm 26 years old, and I am currently a nurse. I work at Greenview Regional Hospital in Bowling Green um, on a telemetry floor, so a lot of cardiac and um, stroke patients mainly. Um, I've been working there since December 2009, and I'm currently in grad school. Um, I've got a year left after this semester, and then I'll be a nurse practitioner. I'm married. I've been married for five years. Um, have a baby on the way, and so it's busy. That's good. Okay. Um, and where are you from? Like, where did you grow up, and how did you get to Bowling Green? I am originally from Harlan, Kentucky, which is southeastern tip of Kentucky. Um, I stayed there till I was eight years old, and then my parents wanted to be missionaries, and so we went through a couple years of training, and then um, by the time I was 10 years old, we were living in Mexico, and uh, we lived there from the time I was 10 until I graduated high school, um, and then came back to Bowling Green to be in the nursing program. Okay. Um, and how did you end up becoming a nursing major? Uh, well, my mom was a nurse in the health department in Harlan, and um, she, I would go and visit her at work, and she, I just thought that her job was so cool, um, and so I knew that I wanted to be a nurse um, from the time I was pretty young, and then definitely by the time I was a junior in high school, I knew I wanted to um, go to college to be a nurse, and then eventually become a nurse practitioner. Um, the process was a little bit harder than I expected. Um, when uh, I was applying to get in the nursing program, they were solely going on GPA. Um, and I had like a 3.6. Like it was a pretty good GPA, but I didn't get into the program the first time or the second time that I applied. Um, but my desire hadn't changed at all. I still wanted to be a nurse. And so um, kept trying and um, eventually got in. After the second time, they refused me. Um, they actually called me back the week that classes started and told me that there was a spot open and I was the next on the list. Wow. So, that was the journey to the nursing program. So, you just signed up for classes, like, the week before classes started? The week that classes started. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's awesome. Um, and what are your hopes with becoming a nurse practitioner? Um... Be, growing up in Mexico, I got to see a lot of um, healthcare providers come into the tribal areas and um, do clinics and that kind of stuff. And so eventually, whether full-time or part-time, I'm not sure yet, but eventually I'd like to do some international um, healthcare as a nurse practitioner. There's just a lot more independence as far as, you know, being able to diagnose and um, prescribe medications, and um, I think it would could potentially benefit a lot of people and I think that it would just be an awesome experience so that's the goal eventually yeah so do you want to like you want to live in another country while you do that like just we're still not sure <laughs> still not sure it's definitely an option um both Ben and I have you know family and stuff out of the country and um so we've got some experience with living out of the country and we think that 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 could be a potential Okay. And you're I'm already sure. bilingual, right? So mm -hmm. does Ben know any other languages yet? He's he's seminary, <laughs> so he does like the Greek and Hebrew and all that stuff. Not that that's very um, practical <laughs> for living out of the country, but he picks up languages really easily, so he'd be fine. He speaks some Spanish and stuff. So, do you have a particular country that you would like to live in? Um, Latin America just because that's where my heart is always. And then um, I've always wanted to do some stuff in Africa, too. So that's a, a goal. 
um, what are some issues or concerns that you have with like your career now and um, when you graduate with your nurse practitioner? Um, I think that like as far as just the transition from nursing to being a nurse practitioner, um, I think that that's going to be interesting just because of the level of independence and the level of responsibility that you have. Um, right now as a nurse, my responsibilities are to intervene in emergencies and be the eyes and ears of the doctor kind of a thing. Um, so, but if there's a problem, I call the doctor, you know what I mean? But as a nurse practitioner, there's a little bit more or a lot more responsibility to know everything and um, not to necessarily know everything, but to um, know how to intervene in certain situations. And there's so many things that can go wrong. <laughs> so that's just a little bit intimidating, but I've got a year left of school, so I've got a little bit of time to figure it all out. Um, and what is the biggest challenge that you faced in, um, like, while you're working now at the hospital and in school? Probably time management is the biggest thing, um, both at work and outside of work. Um, there's, in a 12-hour shift, you've got so many things that need to get done and in a certain order and so it's that's something that you have to learn coming out of school and so that was a big hurdle that I had to get past is learning how to manage my time and take care of six patients at once and all of this stuff um, as far as outside of work and with school and with baby on the way and with being a wife and um, all of that you just have to kind of prioritize um, where your time goes and um, so that's been a hurdle that I've had to cross too, is just um, learning how to um, make sure that all my priorities are in the right place and, and that kind of thing. So that's a big challenge. But um, And if someone else came to you and said that they were interested in going through nursing school and possibly becoming a nurse practitioner, what are some of the main things that you would tell them about it? Um, a lot of times people aren't sure of the difference between a nurse and a nurse practitioner and so I would definitely tell them um, being a nurse practitioner is not like being a doctor it's kind of what I described to them as is it's like a step between a nurse and a physician um, as a nurse practitioner you're able to diagnose illnesses and treat illnesses um, and there's Obviously, like, like, like I was saying, is the level of independence increases, the level of responsibility increases. Um, and with nursing, like with nursing, as a nurse practitioner, there's so many different options and fields of the specialty that you can go into. Um, and so it's really interesting to me, you know, if you get bored or burn out in one spot you can move on to another spot without changing your whole career you mm -hmm. know what I mean so um, it's a it's a good career choice I think I'm excited about it um, is there anything else you want to share um just the level of determination that it takes to finish any major um, you know whether it's there's so many different things that can happen that you can take as um, rejections or signs that you're not supposed to be doing what you think you're supposed to be doing. Um, but just be open to the different options that are coming your way and um, just to remain determined about what you want to do and why you want to do it and you'll get it done. Okay. Well, thank you so much for doing this interview, um, and if you want a copy of it, just let me know. I'll send you the link and everything, but thank you for being here.